Hey guys, if we reach a thousand likes, we'll be giving out two of our new shirts. All you gotta do is click like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. What's up, Pony Nation? It is me, Fifth and Malimnus, and I'm here to detail you guys the week of Pony News and some other stuff if I feel like it. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and jump right into this thing. So there's been some news that's been bouncing around about Season 7, about who's working on it, who's not, who got fired, who left, who quit, who tried to start a mutiny to become the new showrunner, everything like that. It turns out, yes, obviously, M.A. Larson is no longer working on Season 7 or MLP at all, I don't believe. Uh, M.K. Toons is not working on Season 7. I forget his actual name, but he's not working on it because he was working on the Equestria Girls shorts. As a lot of you guys were quick to point out, yes, we do get, in fact, three new shorts this year featuring Equestria Girls, which are both, or all three, rather, 22 minutes. So it's like almost an hour, a little bit over an hour of runtime, maybe. I think it's like just there, but I think the minimum to be a movie is like 80 minutes. So it's not quite moviesly worth of content, but it's still a lot of content. And hopefully these are some great episodes, maybe if it does well maybe they'll even make it into a series some of you guys would love that some of you guys would absolutely hate that i know the fandom's a little bit split on this topic anyways we also found out that daniel ingram is not actually doing the song or at least the background music for the show i'm not sure if daniel ingram did the background music or if he just did the main songs i know daniel ingram did Rainbow's Rock soundtrack, which is, in my opinion, the best soundtrack to ever come out for MLP. That has not been topped yet, even by him. <laughs> It's something I don't think he's gonna top himself, but that was the best soundtrack in my opinion and in a lot of people's opinions actually. But we have writers coming in and leaving and it's just it, it's not necessarily that the writing of season six was bad. It felt like it was rushed like it didn't give the writers enough time. We, we see some people talking about executive decisions were made as to why certain things ended up how they were. You know, they said we're going to explore Equestria and then we never left like certain places where we've already been. I think we've seen two new places that entire year. And it's like the writers can write good. You can see it in there. There are episodes that are amazing. There have been episodes that are amazing, but I don't think they're letting the writers flex their wings flex their creative muscles you know and that's the thing and also there are writers who specialize in certain story elements uh, there are writers who like to do more serious topics there are writers who like to do more comedy slice of life there are writers who just like to do different things and if you're not a fan of that specific thing it doesn't make them a bad writer but just means you don't enjoy them which is fine. So for some of you out there, certain writers leaving and certain writers coming is amazing and you, you love it. But that is what it is. There are writers that we did have before, uh, such as Jim M GM Burrow, however you say her last name, who is on season seven, who is working on season seven. So if you love her work, then you're probably going to love some of the episodes she did, but you're probably going to hate the fact that she's only done two episodes. Now it is 26. So it's actually a pretty small percentage of this season that she's worked on, but you can't expect her to literally do every episode. All right, Pony Nation, not a lot of news, but what am I reading this week? This week, I'm not really focusing on one long narrative that I haven't already mentioned, but there was a multitude of short stories of uh, nuns in Equestria and stuff like that, and I think that's because a nun finally got an image tag on Fem Fiction, and I think people are celebrating about making a bunch of Anon stories. Some stories that are an absolute read are... The Mayor from Germany, which if you follow me on Twitter, you saw me post an out of context one talking about uh, some very funny moments that are going on in that. Uh, it's definitely something hilarious. There's also Going Native, which is another Anon and Equestria story. There's two Anons in this one, and it is hilarious too. It does have a little bit of comedy. It's a little bit lewd at times, but it's it's nothing explicit. And finally, one is My Name is Anon and Everyone Hates Me, and it's pretty much a story talking about Anon and Equestria stories, and it is great. And if you haven't read any of these, I recommend you go ahead and go do so. Read a book today, or a short 1,000, 2,000 word piece. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to finish that. Anyways, guys, this is going to do it for me. I'll see you guys next week. As always, and keep an eye out. Monday is a theory video. Wednesday is a top 10. And Saturday will be another Everything's Wrong With. And we'll do it all again, baby. And we'll probably have some other random videos interspersed throughout those days. As always, I've been Faith and Malimnus. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Woo!
Yeah.